Alrighty, what is going on everybody and welcome to this brand new series that will probably last about three episodes. This is going to be the Los Angeles Chargers franchise here in Madden 24, but, 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 this is not on uh, PlayStation or Xbox, it's actually on PC. So we will have the ability to use mods, so that means the Broncos new uniforms, the Jets new uniforms, the Texas new uniforms, we'll have different scoreboards to make it look just more pleasant, we'll have different gameplay than Madden. All the above, we have the actual draft class you can see on the right side. The only thing is the start today, the start today mod, um, they don't have the new one out yet because the full schedule release hasn't happened. Um, so we're just going to have to start from the NFL draft. So not every rookie is going to be on the correct team. We're actually going to have to draft our team differently. And um, as the Chargers, maybe we actually draft Malik Neighbors instead of Joel Alt, even though Joel Alt's fantastic. Uh, we might actually go in a different direction. We will see. But without further ado, if you guys do enjoy the series, be sure to leave it a like. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to try and upload this consistently because it's very difficult making videos as of now because there's just nothing to play, really. I'm just waiting for College Football 25 to come out in July, two months away. But anyways, let's get into it. Before we get into that, you can actually see if we go to Franchise Staff, Jim Harbaugh. Greg Roman and Jesse Minter are our, our coordinators. Anyways, let's head in to the NFL draft. And the Chicago Bears are on the clock. We're going to pause. We're going to obviously skip ahead to the next pick. They draft Caleb Williams. Apparently, his face can's not in the game. I think he actually is. It's just not in the photo. They draft Caleb Williams just like real life. Will the commanders do the same thing? They do. The commanders draft Jaden McDaniel. So far, so good. Patriots are going to draft Drake May, and that leaves the Cardinals to draft. They drafted Joe Alt. So that means there is a man on the board. I am not trading this pick. We are going to make our selection, and Marvin Harrison Jr. is on the board. We are 100% not thinking about it twice. Marvin Harrison Jr., welcome to the loss. And yes, okay, so the face games, as you can see, are in the game. It's just not in the photos. Welcome Marvin Harrison Jr. to the Chargers. Herbert got himself an elite weapon. And maybe, well, we don't really, maybe we make a trade eventually for a left tackle or an offensive guy. Because if we go to our roster and we go to our depth chart, um, as you can see, our running back position is fine. J.K. Dobbins is um, healing from an injury. Um, obviously, wide receiver was a need. <laughs> More than not. Uh, tight end is a need, even though we did pick a Will Disley and Hayden Hurst. Um, but left tackle, we got Rayshon Slater. Uh, left guard, we have Zion Johnson. Center, Corey Lindsley, who I think retired in real life, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong, though. Uh, right guard, Jameer Salier and Trey Pipkin. So maybe we look at a guard or a tackle. Why does it say the Jaguars need a quarterback? That could not be more wrong. They have Trevor Lawrence. Why the hell would they need a quarterback? I doubt this goes through. <laughs> That's going to, yep. We're close, so I'm actually going to give up a seventh and that should be able to move us up it is a fourth round pick this year a second in 2025 a third in 2026 and a seventh in 2024 and we move up a spot ahead of the cincinnati Bengals to try and take jc latham unless the seahawks want to be jackasses they do not they take jackson powers johnson and we are going to pick up left tackle i mean right tackle jc latham out uh, where is he from? I don't even know if it says it here. Uh, Alabama. Wow, he is a normal dev. Okay, well, maybe that wasn't a good pick. Really? I kind of, I thought, okay. I mean, he still could be very solid, but we beef up our O-line a little bit. Let's see if they take um the next tackle available. They don't. The Bengals draft Malik Neighbors. Oh, so we didn't even really need to trade up, realistically. We we His name's Kool-Aid. <laughs> we didn't even need to trade up. Yeah, Troy... Uh, went to um, the Dolphins. We actually could have used him. Rome Odunze goes to the Eagles with the 22nd overall pick. That's that's an absolute steal. But yeah, we, it doesn't even look like we needed to trade up. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. There was no need for us to trade up in this draft. Uh, right now, it's not looking at Cooper DeGene goes to the Lions. The Ravens. There, See, he fell all the way down to 30. Yeah, we kind of did not cook there real quick. We did not cook there. I think I'm going to go with Nate Wiggins here. 
he is normal dev he's got 93 speed maybe that's the wrong pick maybe it's the right pick i don't know and Terion arnold ends up going to the carolina panthers we'll simulate to our third round pick we we addressed wide receiver we addressed o-line and we addressed cornerback lad mcconkey's here who actually got drafted by the chargers um so maybe we draft him i don't know um we really should probably address more of the defense though i think we take a chance on austin booker to be honest i think we're going to take a chance on austin booker here and see he's a normal dev i don't know what his overall is going to be but hopefully he's solid enough where we can start him i think now we're going to go d tackle and you got only a, you got a d power move he's got b to d power move i think we're gonna go logan lee here he just seems like the best available for d tackle i know it's probably a big reach but I mean, with the fourth round pick, it doesn't hurt. I think we can go get some more depth at the cornerback and we go draft Kyrie Jackson. He does have hidden dev. I don't know why he fell so much, but he's not fast at 90 speed. But for him to fall down to what, the fifth round? Yeah, the fifth round, getting a hidden dev player, I think that is a good pick. Kyrie Jackson gets some more depth at that cornerback position. Now we got Asante um, Samuel. I think we drafted Nate Wiggins, if I'm not mistaken, and Kyrie Jackson. This is our last pick i think we've addressed a lot um a lot of uh positions here but i think do we go wide receiver okay so rice is not here so i'm not gonna go wide receiver he's the only reason why i would so i think i actually might go running back here i think i might go running back here um a 510 elusive back from alabama jace mcclennan dylan labau i don't know how to say his name bro um, he is all Isaiah Davis is all A to C. Rasheen um Ali. I think I'm gonna go with Rasheen Ali from Marshall. Um he's got 94 speed. You'll love to see that. He ain't gonna play much um to begin his career because we got JK and Gus Edwards. But that is a solid pickup. Maybe he actually turns out to be something. Advance to the draft recap. So overall is Marvin Harrison Jr. Obviously, I don't know why the Cardinals didn't pick him, but he is a 79 overall. Uh wow, Rasheen Ali with the sixth round pick is a 74 overall with 94 speed, 93 acceleration, 90 agility. Not bad. He's only got 82 carrying. But for a sixth round pick running back, that's solid. Uh Nate Wiggins, although being normal dev, he ends up being a 72 overall with 93 speed. That's solid. Um, JC Latham was a reach. Uh, he was only a 70 overall, but he will immediately start for us. So that's good. Um, Austin Booker, left end, 68 overall. Uh, Kyrie Jackson, he's only a 60 overall, but he does have hidden dev. Most likely he's going to be um, just star. But hidden dev, I'm fine with it. Then Logan Lee was probably a worse pick. So not a bad draft at all. Actually, I want to go see the Ravens drafted that other um, left tackle. And let's see. Yeah, you ended up being a 74 overall. That sucks, dude. Yeah, so we kind of fumbled there. Not going to lie. And Jewel All ends up being a 75 overall for the Cardinals, who didn't even draft a wide receiver, even though that's probably their biggest need. Anyways, we are going to advance to the preseason. We're not going to play the preseason. We're not going to play a game in this episode. This was just a draft and building our team because I've already been recording for 18 minutes. So I'm not going to do any training camps. That's just boring. So we're going to simulate through the regular season, sim ahead, and the next episode will be the first game. I'm only going to play certain games. Um, So I'm not playing every game in the regular season. I'm going to play key games. So for example, like games against like the Chiefs, I'm probably going to play the last game of the season or if it's like a pivotal playoff game, I'll play those games. Uh, I'll probably play the season opener against the um, Atlanta Falcons. But before we choose draft class, I'll do that all on my own. We're going to manage roster. We're going to go to depth chart and we are going to make sure everything's set. We do have Easton Stick as the backup to Justin Herbert, Gus Edwards, Isaiah Spiller, J.K. Dobbins. So I, I might start J.K. Dobbins. I think I'm going to start Dobbins and Gus Edwards is going to be the power back. Um, and then I want Rasheen Ali to be that third guy because he is our fastest running back. Um, so our running back room is not bad. Wide receiver, we are going to definitely have... Why do we have Michael Thomas? All right, I'm cutting Michael Thomas because he's not supposed to be on this team. Um, we're definitely having Marvin, Har Marvin Harrison Jr., number one receiver. Quentin Johnson, the number three. Then it's going to be Darius, um, Darius Davis. We're going to cut Michael Thomas. He's not supposed to be here. 
Um, tight end wise, Hayden Hurst will be the day one starter. I'm fine with that. Um, left tackle, Ray Sean. Uh, left guard, Zion. Corey Lindsley, who actually didn't retire in real life. I forgot. Uh, right guard is going to be Jameer Salyer. And then tackle. Do we move Pipkins to guard? I think we move Pipkins to guard. I think we're going to end up moving Pipkins to right guard. Uh, where is he? Trey Pipkins, his overall actually goes up. So we're actually going to make Trey Pipkins our right guard. Jamil Salyer is going to be coming off the bench. Um, Trey Pipkins cannot be a start because he's already... Oh, yeah, I need, I need to switch him to a backup. There we go. All right, now I can make him the starter. And Trey Pipkins is going to start at guard. we got JC Latham. I want him to start. Left end's not looking so good. I am going to have Austin Booker start. Right end is Morgan Fox. I guess I'm fine with that. Uh, Puna Ford. I don't know if he's on the team in real life. I, I, I actually don't know. Uh, left outside linebacker, Khalil Mack. Tuli Tui Pelotu. I forgot about him. He might. Maybe we move him to right. No, well, we got Morgan Fox at right end, so we don't need him there. Because I want Tuli to play. Because he was really good or really solid. I don't want him. I guess we'll just keep him where he is. Our middle linebacker situation is awful. Our defense is bad. Uh, Joey Bosa, Tuli's the backup. Uh, cornerbacks, Asante, Christian Fulton, Dean Leonard. Uh, we're going to have Nate Wiggins, obviously. And then Basir Taylor. Kyrie Jackson's going to get in there 100%. Kyrie Jackson. Um, Not bad. I want Jasir Taylor also in there. And free safety, Lohi Gilman, obviously. Derwin James, strong safety. Kicker is Dicker the kicker. J.K. Scott. All right, I think our team's set. Uh, kicker Turner is Darius Davis. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's perfectly fine with me. Punt Turner is going to be Darius Davis also. Um, yeah, not bad. Uh, third down running back is going to be... We're bringing... Yeah, Rasheen Ali will be our third down back. And then we're bringing K, uh, J.K. Dobbins as the backup to that. Our power back, Gus Edwards, without a doubt, is going to be our power back. And then our slot receiver, they want Darius Davis. Um, do I want Josh Palmer or Marvin Harrison Jr. to be running the slot? I think I'm going to have Josh Palmer run the slot because I think uh, MHJ is just too short. And I'm not sure about his route running. Um, yeah, his route running is not the best. So I think we're definitely going to have Palmer run that. And that is it for the roster. The roster is set. If you guys are excited and you want to see more episodes, be sure to leave it a like. Subscribe if you're new. That's going to be for me. GG.